see what I'm talking about. It's that thing. That thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Liberty DeVito here. Yeah. Played on so many classic songs and made that feel just so good. That exact feel. You cannot imagine those songs without that feel. You're embarrassing me. But <laughs> what if, you know, drummers, we like to go, what if? So today we've got three world-class drummers who have performed one of your classic songs. Mm. We're going to get a chance for you to see them in real time, see what you think of their take on your song, your parts, all today on the drum department, which starts right now. You've seen an episode of Drum Department before, hey? Oh, I love it. Oh, I noticed like the back of my hand. <laughs> Heck hey, yeah. Wait, how'd I get that there? <laughs> how'd I get that there? Well, thank you so much for coming to Drumio, man. Yeah, this is great. Back of my hand. Whoa, there oh. you go. That's a little bit of an inception there, but um, yeah, we're excited to have you out. And this is a really cool idea. Uh, this took a little bit of planning on our side because we had to, to coordinate with the drummers when they were at the Drumio studio to film something before. And we knew you were coming. We knew you were coming in November. So yeah, Kyle, you did a great job on this one. Thank you. Well, yeah. well, we'll see. That remains to be seen. Yeah. But let's, uh, let's talk a little bit. For those of you who don't know who Liberty DeVito is, we should find out. So first of all, uh, clearly... Danny DeVito's brother, right? Yeah, I'm the taller one. <laughs> okay, that's not true. But uh, maybe give them a quick, uh, a, a very short history on, on who you are and what you've done. I uh, have played with, uh, well, if, if most people know me from playing on 23 of Billy Joel's 24 Top 40 hits. Oh, uh, so, uh, you know, that, that's me. Everybody's heard you then. Pretty much That's everybody's pretty cool. heard me, yeah. And these days, uh, aside from just hanging out in New York, what else do you do? I come here. Yeah. Um, I, I, I begged you guys to have me on the show. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It worked. <laughs> yeah, it really did. Uh, no, I, I have uh, two bands up over in New York. Uh, one's uh, Lord of 52nd Street. Uh, it's myself, Richie Kanata, and Russell Javers from the original Billy Joel band. Cool. And we do all the Billy songs cool. when we do uh, concerts. And uh, the Slim Kings. Uh, Slim Kings, I will announce it right now, just signed a record deal oh. with Whoa, a Canadian congrats. label. Oh. Wax Records. Wax, Wax Records. Wax yes. Records. No, congratulations. That's Thank amazing. You. And yeah. Slim Kings, what style of music? It's, uh, well, we're, we're a three-piece, like, rock band, okay. and uh, we usually do um, uh, uh, rebel music, kind of, you know, like, uh, uh, we talk about the greed, and we talk about, you know, uh, politics, and, you know, all that kind of stuff, but this album is kind of the I Love You album. Uh, okay. You know. Yeah. So before we get to I Hate You, it's where we're hanging out. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> Slim Kings. Slim Kings. Coming yeah. soon on Wax Records. Yeah. Very exciting. Awesome. Um, I, I got to share a quick story. So I'm a huge fan of yours. I'm so excited to be here today. Um, read your book. Loved it. If you haven't got his book, get it. It's called Liberty. Liberty I believe. Life, right? Billy, and the Pursuit of Happiness. All those lovely things. Very right? cool. But um, you were such a huge inspiration to me as, as, as a kid. And it, it all stems from one particular ad. Uh, can we show that image that we've got queued up here? Um, so this was from a Tama ad back in the day. <laughs> oh, and look at that. I just thought that was the coolest looking drum set I'd ever seen. <laughs> and what we were talking earlier about is it, like that color that's known as Nile Blue. And he, of course, you had to get the white hardware on it. Well, let me tell you about the Nile Blue. Please. Uh, this was for the bridge tour. The bridge tour was all blue. Uh, all the equipment was under the stage. It had oh. grids where the, the amps would come up and you hear the amps and the mm. piano was submerged. Everything was under the stage and it would come up when we first start playing. And um, so everything was blue. Our lighting designer, Steve Cohen, wanted a blue drum set. So there was two colors that uh, Tom was making at the time. It was flip-flop pink and flip-flop blue. That's right. So he <laughs> looked at the flip-flop blue and he goes, I don't like that. And he threw it down and it turned upside down. And he goes, that's the color I want. <laughs> So there is not another set like that. Oh, that's amazing. Because it's the opposite side of what it really is. And now please tell us where funny. that drum set currently resides. That that drum not the set. actual address. Let's not give no, that no, away. No, 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 no. That drum set is in a church on Long Island now. No way. <laughs> yeah. That's too cool. Do that, they know? Do they know they're playing? The drummers at that church, do they know what kit they're playing there? They may know, but I don't know if they care. Yeah, that's fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. I mean, 
I mean, there's lots of reasons to go to church. For me, that's a pretty good reason. Yeah. But I don't know. Oh, you need a drummer? Yeah, sure, I'll come. Hey, this drum kit looks awfully familiar. Where have I seen this before? Jet's pulling from the deep well there. That, it's, what's a 1980s something? That's 80s, and that's, I mean, bridge. I mean, what better place for a drum kit to end up? It's a bridge. The church is probably a bridge for everybody. Yeah. yeah there's bridges everywhere. Russia tour was on that, the bridge. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. way. That, that drum set went to Russia. Oh, that's amazing. The only thing I have left of that is the snare drum. Oh. Do you have a pretty big collection? No. No? No. See, when you collect guitars, you can push them under the bed. Yeah. When you collect yeah. drums, you need a warehouse. Yeah, True. I know. So, um, no, I have like maybe five sets. Okay. That's reasonable. Ah, so right? cool. Yeah. <sighs> have you shown them our warehouse yet? Not yet. And we yeah. should quickly shout out, of course, Liberty Drums. Liberty Drums, yeah. yes. So where are they from? England. Oh, really? London. London, yeah. Oh, cool. Outside of London. Uh, boutique little company. Uh, Andrew Street is the president and the founder of Liberty Drums. I used to walk past them at the NAMM show. Mm. And um, I thought, you know what? This could be a good hookup. So um, it's pretty it, serendipitous with the name. You're like, ah, Liberty, Liberty. Ah. Yeah, but when I first started playing them and I, and I posted it on, on Facebook and Instagram, people thought I owned the drum company. Of course. Yeah, like, well, not, I said I'm crazy, but I'm not insane. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You know how to make you, you of all people know how to make money in the industry. It's like how do you make a million dollars in the music industry? Start with two million. Yes. Yeah, right, Start right, with right. two million. Wow, wow. We had. Uh, do you know Sammy D? Yeah. Yeah, we had him out oh, yeah. years ago. We featured Liberty Drums for the first time on, oh, on that. First. So the question is, did they name the drum kit after you so oh. they can get you as an artist, or did they? Or was it the other way around? Do you know how many things? I would have to say they named after me. There's a statue in the harbor of That's New York true. named after me. There's a <laughs> bell in Philadelphia named true. after me. That's right. There's an insurance company named that you <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, you've heard the ball, but that is true. Name no, a they, uh, they, um, I don't know why they picked Liberty, but. I love it. Yeah. They're, they're great. Everybody, they're great. everybody wins, though, today. Everyone that's wins. for sure. Yeah. All right. So we've got queued up here today. We are going to present you with some. Uh, pared down performances of some drummers, world class drummers playing one of your classic songs. That means, Jack, it's time for our challenge. This is gonna be good. All right. All right. So the song we've chosen for this uh, little experiment is Billy Joel's "Allentown," okay. and the reason we chose that song is now selfishly again, Billy Joel, very much Liberty DeVito fan again. Uh, I always thought the drums really did a great job of pr propelling this song forward. The story this song is about is pretty pretty dire. Yeah. And the drums really kind of, to me, connect to that, the blue collar, the the angst, the stress, all those things. I thought you really captured that in just that hmm. really strong performance. Have you ever been to Allentown? No, I've been all over uh, Pennsylvania, but never been there. It's all steel mills. And... Um to see them now that they've been closed down for a really long time, uh, it's amazing. They lit them like like it's like a Broadway show the way they lit oh, wow. the mills mm. and it's it's beautiful but like depressing at the same right, time. Right, right, right. It's like a museum of a of a former time, if you will. Right. Wow. Uh, but uh, actually, before we get into it, like, do you want to share any? Is there any sort of backstory to that song for you or anything in the connection? Or do you hate it? Or <laughs> no, no, no. I, I really like Alan the the song. Mm -hmm. um, but um, he had this song, but it was called Levittown. He didn't have the whole song. Oh. He had, Levittown is in, on Long Island. There's also a Levittown in Pennsylvania, but we lived by Levittown on Long Island. And he had, well, we're living here in Levittown, and there, and there, <laughs> <laughs> nothing was happening in Levittown. Okay. Huh? So finally, when he, when he came up with Allentown, it was like, okay, I got a reason to write. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> and was your instinct on the drums like your, your first idea, or did you try a bunch of different stuff? No, it's pretty much the first idea. Okay. Great. Yeah. All right. So what we've got up first, uh, there's three drummers. We'll go in order here. So the first one is a guy named Alex Cohen, fellow New Yorker. Okay. Now, Alex is known for his extreme inter interdependence yeah. and polyrhythmic drumming. I figured before we get into him playing Allentown, you should probably get a chance to see him in his natural habitat. So here's a quick clip of what Alex Cohen does, I would say, on a regular basis. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So you got me hating him already. <laughs> <laughs> Just the tip of the iceberg of, of, of the coordination. Like that's a, actually a pretty old clip. That's really difficult to do. Right? Yeah. 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 So one side yeah. of the body's doing one thing, and this does something else yeah. completely. And I will say before we we we, we watch this, um, pay close attention to what he does play. For those of you that are really drum nerdy, there's some really good Easter eggs in this very short clip. So here is Alex Cohen, his take on Liberty DeVito's part on Allentown. Check it out. First impressions, yeah. what do you think? Well, uh, you know, I always say that I'm not really a drummer. I play one on stage <laughs> because of guys like that. Okay. Like, if he's a drummer, then I'm not really a drummer. <laughs> you know? different, a different style, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Different spin on it. Quite quite different. I like the way he played, um, you know, uh, he plays the um, hi-hat to the actual music that's going... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. He's yeah. playing like that, that type of thing. Yeah, he gets sneaky in there too. Open, he plays. He starts right hand and goes open hand. Oh, I thought that was a trick mirror. That did. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually he's actually made that way. Um, and then the the the, the, the muted crash yeah. thing. The muted crash is cool. I, and I was like, God, you could do that a million different ways, and it would sound really kind of showboaty. Yeah. And I was like, it was sneaky good. It was like it, yeah. it's still like it doesn't. It's so easy to overplay things, as you know, on the yeah. drums. It's like. Our, the hardest thing for us to do is to figure out what not to play. And but like sometimes you can put those little things in. I was like, actually, that's super rad. And it doesn't like it's not like drawing attention. Sure, some of the fills in that bridge, but I mean there's there's space there. There is some space yeah. to have some fun there for sure. Yeah. And I think like probably he was having fun. Yeah. And I'm sure you probably smile a little, little more, but uh, there yeah. we go. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> I like it's that. all fair to critique, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so before we go to the, the next one, just you've probably seen a ton of drummers cover Billy Joel stuff on the internet throughout the years. when you see it, like what what do you what are you looking for? Like do you just are you enjoying it or are you critiquing it? Like what is your approach? My my favorite thing is when I get a, an, an email and the guy sends me him playing the drums, he goes, Look how close I'm I can play just like you and I, I've lost <laughs> and I go, Wow, you're way off. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's but, great. But I mean it, it, it's a sense of pride. I mean I, I must have did something right for these people to be yeah. You know, emulating what I did, you know, Love so it. yeah. it's, it's, I'm pretty proud of it. Absolutely. I mean, you know, for what it's worth, I mean, you are, for a lot of folks, you're, you're their Ringo star. I mean, that's, that's a, that's heavy to say, but it's true. I mean, there's, there, everybody finds their guy or their connection or, or it's their inspiration. And, and I mean, you're certainly that for a lot of folks. Well, so. you know, I, I met Ringo and I, and I told him if it wasn't for you, Ringo, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. And he looked at me and said, well, at least you're not blaming me for it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine how many times he's heard that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Parents yeah. Exactly. My son plays the drums because of you. Sorry. I don't get yeah, any sorry. sleep anymore. Peace and love. Yeah. Peace and love. Peace and love. 
<laughs> All right, so a fantastic job from our friend uh, Alex Cohen, who's got a bunch of cool stuff coming out in Drumeo. We just uh, he was just here not that long ago. Yeah, so. that's right. Does he teach? He does. He teaches mm. actually at the Collective in New York. And I might have to come for lessons. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that, <laughs> that would keep, good. Yeah, he would lose, lose his that, mind. That'd be quite the honor. <laughs> All right, up next is a friend of his, uh, a gentleman by the name of Ramon Montagne. I don't know if you know Ramon at all. Ramon. Ramon. No, he is from Ramon. Brazil. Uh, he's Brazilian drummer. He's fantastic. He's um, more of a jazz Latin drummer uh, and has this really unique hand technique. Um, we don't see completely in this clip. You're going to see this is a fun little clip of him showing off some of his two-stick technique, which is also unique to him, but he has this rapid-fire one-handed thing that I've never seen anybody else do. He can do it on the cymbals. You see Ramon do that yeah, thing. It's oh, just yeah. like, he has this side-to-side motion he can do that's crazy. So I thought, you know, what's he going to do with it? But let's see him in his natural habitat. This is Ramon Montagna. Check it out. Okay. Comparison from him and Alex, eh? Very different. Very One different. is, yeah. you know, I mean, they both are, are really strong advocates of of, of of kind of pushing the instrument forward, which I, I love. And that's always tricky because with drumming, I think a lot of times we write off, or a lot of us will write off, especially the internet, we write off really major advancements in technique or in polymorphic ideas as almost like circus tricks. Right. You know, but like, we go back to like Jim Chapin, who was doing four way independence. Everyone thought that was crazy in 1945, anyways. We just keep pushing forward and we just have a much bigger peanut gallery now where everybody yep. can just talk about it. But uh, Ramon is, is fantastic. I think you're going to love this performance. Very different. Uh, let's check out Ramon's take on Allentown. We're living here in Allentown. Interesting. Yeah. Right? The cajon's pretty cool. Yeah. And playing on the snare, the hi-hat part uh, on the snare is cool. And he's doing this thing where he's got two brushes. Yeah. And he's flicking his hand to get like a flam. Yeah. It's like, you listen to it, it's, it's subtle, but it's like, doom, doom, fat, doom, 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 fat, doom, doom. Like, yeah. how's he yeah. doing that with that one hand? Yeah. And I kind of like how it sits. Uh, it's, you know, it's pretty folky, of course, with the cajon, but it seems to kind of capture that. And it, but it's not like like you were saying the, the circus tricks. Yeah, you, you know it, he's really in in the groove there, you know, playing doing that stuff that, like you said, t is bringing the instrument more forward. Yeah, yeah. It's just a shame that the, the, the people who listen to music are still staying back there, you know, not <laughs> yeah. moving forward with the instrument. It's true. Yeah. It's true. You know, the synthesizer took music and moved it really forward, and everybody went with it. You know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's right. So, what did you what what stood out in this take that you liked? I liked the brush thing. The I brush. really liked the brush thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was surprised when he was hitting the how do you say it? Cajon. Cajon. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's the first you time know, I've seen someone. in, in <laughs> Italian. <It's, laughs> I don't think he's. Oh, is he in his coolons? Um, <laughs> he's slapping his coolons. <laughs> <laughs> but he, swi he also switched uh, lead hands. Yeah, yes. That's right. yeah. 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 He did that too. Jerks. Yeah. Can you believe it? I can barely walk, let alone, you know, play. It's just yeah, no talking about tricks on the drums. I, I, the guys that flip sticks and they throw them up in the air. Mm -hmm. you, you ever go to Benihana when sure, and, yeah, and yeah. they do the salt shakers the and Japanese, they throw them yeah. in your mouth? They become the Benny Hanna of the drums. It's drummers. true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's elegant, though, when you do it right, you know? Yeah. That was great. I loved what Ramon did with that. I'm glad you yep. liked it, yeah, too. Yeah, it was really good. All right. Our third contestant up today is uh, someone you may have heard of. He beginner drummer. Beginner drummer. Uh, he was very honored to be asked to do this. Yeah. Uh, he's our co-founder, Jared Falk. Oh. Yeah, so he captured this. He actually shot this at home. He was so busy, he wasn't even able to come in here to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Jared's like, I can do it at home. I'm like, great. Yeah. So, um, and his take on this, he said to me, he says, this is my, my, my homage to what you did. Okay. So, uh, let's show them, everybody. This is Jared Falk playing Alan's hand. How he's playing it is usually when you, I walk into a club and somebody's playing Allentown, that's the way the drum is playing it. Okay. Right. Staying really close to what I did, but then throwing in his own personality and stuff into the into the tune. Right, right. And that part, you know, the middle when it goes, every child had a pretty mm. good spell. I've seen <clears throat> bass players, if if they get lost in that. They have to stop playing until it goes da 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 right. back into da 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 because right. you can't find it. That's right, yeah. You know? Yeah, because there's a bar of three in there, I think. I have no idea, don't tell me. Yeah, no, 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 no. there's a thing in there. Uh, some very, very passionate people in the chat. <laughs> Yeah. I've been very much enjoying this, um, and some of them are yeah. They're, they're, it's yeah. It's it's you know, uh, when you when you see someone else play a, a sacred part, there are some interesting comments. Is all I'm going to say. They're like, let's see Liberty play. Yeah. Let's you see. will. You will, guys. You will. Don't worry. Don't yes. worry. Um, out of the three you just saw, <laughs> out of the three you just saw, which one did you like the best? Uh, middle guy. Ah, Ramon. The Ramon. Okay. The guy with the brushes. Very cool. And and what reason do you think? Oh, because he, he he took it to a different place uh, with the with the brush and the, but still stayed in context of the the, the, the tune. It's pretty I mean, heavy. The, the last one was um, playing the tune and adding his own thing. The first one was playing the tune, adding his own thing, which was a lot. Mm -hmm. But he was subtle. Absolutely. All right, we actually ended up with a, with an interesting bonus clip. Oh. So Ross, the gentleman who edited uh, the Ramon and uh, Alex performances, they were here at the same time. And they shot in the same space, but not at the same time, obviously. But he decided, he's like, I wonder if these two performances together work. Oh. So he sent me a clip. So check this out. This is a little excerpt of Ramon and Alex, their takes put together in one shot. Check this out. Well, we're living here in Alex.
find interesting? In that part, da, 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 da. everybody wants to fill in there. And I don't do it on the record, but live, I actually did little like ginger baker kind of fills. <laughs> you know, those kind of fills. Love it. Because you, you feel like, okay, I, I made the record, now I can do something. You know? <laughs> right. Did you, did you ever find that like when you finished your, the record after touring for so many years, like, man, I wish I had recorded it differently? Um, no, because you, the only song is my life that I wish I recorded different. I mean, that, that little break in the middle. Oh, I can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, um, everything else is like, that's what fit. When you have the headphones on, it's different than when you're, mm. you got the, you know, 15,000 people in front of you. Yeah, I bet. It just feels different. You know, you're making a record. You're not. Right. Doing That's where you can you, you, you've uh, you've made the commitment to time, and now it's like now we can bring this to you differently and add to it. Yeah, well, why not? They've been listening to the record for how long? Yeah. They're fans. Mm -hmm. They want to see something different. They spend. I always say like, okay, they they come, they drive to the show. They you know they they're probably taking their wife or girlfriend with them, and they got to stop to get dinner. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, then, then they got to play for parking, and then they got to buy the tickets, and then they got to you know <laughs> she wants a t-shirt when she walks in, and you buy the program and all that kind of stuff like that. By the time the house lights go out, you're already five hundred dollars mm -hmm. or more into that's without the ticket into yeah. Billy Joel. Absolutely you right. You better be able to see something that's going to blow you away. Got that I love right. That. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's get him to play it. Let's let's see. Let's... We're going to do it at the end, no? No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, all right, whatever, whatever works. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you slay this because that's the thing it's like you know there's so many drummers out there that do covers there's so many great drummers that could arguably play just as well in some cases but nothing beats the original nothing beats that the feel that you bring well you know what i always say that that when these guys they play the real latin music you, mm -hmm. you know they play latin music and uh Somebody that comes to me and goes, do you hear this guy? He plays Latin, like, unbelievable. I said, oh, what's his name? His name is Juan Rojas or something. Like that. He, where's he from? He's from Cuba. Okay, I can make a great sauce for spaghetti because I grew up in an Italian house yeah. and I watched my mother and I lived that music and, you know, all that kind of stuff. He grew up in Cuba. Yep. That's where the music comes from. Yeah. You, growing up in the Midwest, are never going to play it like he plays it. Yeah, you totally. You can play the notes, exactly. but you won't be able to play like he does. Yeah. You have to live the life, like the blues. If you don't live that blues life, you oh, play yeah. good, but not <laughs> like those guys. It's never the same. Country's the same way. Country's, Country's the same, the same way. way. I, I played in country cover bands thinking, man, that I can play all the parts, no problem. It's not the same. You didn't you know, live those stories. I didn't live those no stories. You had no pickup truck. No, no dog, no shotgun. No. You know what I had the hardest time? You know, sometimes you play with, with bands, you do these tribute things, and, and you play with different bands, you play different songs. I can play uh, most all the other kind of stuff. The hardest one to um, play is um, Charlie Watts in the Rolling oh. Stones. And I'll tell you why. Because what he's playing is so exact for the song that it's hard to put your personality into that. Mm. It, it, I find it hard to get in there because what he played yeah. was so correct. He wasted no notes. No notes. That's exactly it. That's a good point. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna come back to that. We're gonna see Liberty play Allentown in its entirety. Yeah. Not right now. Oh. No, I, I feel like I'm disappointing everybody right You're now, but that's okay. Everyone. I'm strong enough to take that chance. All right. All and right. I will take the beating. All right. <laughs> What we want to do now, thanks, Dave. Uh, <laughs> thanks for supporting them. Um, <laughs> we're going to do something we love doing with our guest artists. We're going to do Blast Beats. So it's time for Blast Beats, everybody. So this is a rapid fire quick game. You get one minute, 60 seconds to answer 20 questions. They're really easy questions. And the whole point of this game is if you, there's no right or wrong answers, by the way. But if Thank you can goodness. answer all 20, someone out there on YouTube who's probably super angry at me for not letting you play it right now might win a prize. Uh, Maybe not the most angry. We'll see how it goes. No, we're going to screen these. <laughs> Heavily screened. That's yeah. okay. That's okay. 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 I'm willing for it. Okay, so I'm going to count down the count. The, I'm going to count down the countdowner. Yeah, yeah. that's count what I'm going to do. Down, yeah. Are you ready to go? Edit the edit. Exactly. Edit the edit. Yeah. It's a hat on edit a hat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go with the clock. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Nylon or wood tip sticks? Wood. Favorite place on the planet? Australia. Ooh. Heal up or heal down? Uh, heal up. What music are you listening to right now? Slim Kings. 
<laughs> coded or clear drum heads? Uh, coded. Artist you want to work with? Stevie Winwood. Oh. Symbols, clean or dirty? Clean. Golf or tennis? Neither. Ah. Mm. Chain, strap, or direct drive pedal? Chain. Chain. TV or movies? Uh, movies. How many snare drums are too many? Three. Mm. Ah, I like that. White wine or red wine? Oh, back in the day, red. Okay. Single <laughs> or double pedal? Single. Okay. Do you like to fly or do you like to drive? Drive. Uh, are concert toms still cool? Yes. Suit or t-shirt? Uh, t-shirt. Okay. Lacquer or wrapped drums? Lacquer. Steak or seafood? Steak what? Steak or seafood? Oh, I eat neither. Okay. Oh. LP or streaming? Uh, LP. And the last question is, best pizza in New York? L and B's Mamoni Gardens in yeah. Brooklyn. See, every time we ask someone from New York, we get a different answer. That's right. I want to keep track of all of them. Yeah. L, again, what was it? L and B, Spumoni Gardens. L and B, Spumoni Gardens. L and B, Spumoni Gardens. I love it. <laughs> well, you almost did it. Almost did it. We were, we were, Three. Yeah. Oh, we didn't two, do it. Two, two, 60, 60 seconds. seconds. But we you were, were so thoughtful with your answers. 62 seconds. We're going to give away a prize anyways. I'm pretty soft on this. Yeah, you're pretty soft on this. All right, so someone in YouTube, Dave, you want to pick somebody for me? Uh, not really, but um, I will. Wow. Get, I'll, I'll pick someone. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> let's go with... Um, let's go with Dizzy. Dizzy is that Dizzy. Dizzy as in Dizzy? Dizzy as in Dizzy, who's okay. chanting Liberty. Okay. Liberty. Dizzy, congratulations, you have won a prize. You're actually going to win one of the uh, pieces of gear we're going to talk about in a second. So email me at krad at drumio.com and I'm going to send you a fun prize. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, moving right along. Uh, up next, we're going to quickly get into something we do every week. It's called Groove of the Week. We're going to check out a drummer doing something super cool on the drums. Okay. Uh, just going to see them play, and we're going to just uh, celebrate that. So, Jack, it's time for Groove of the Week. Our Groove of the Week this week comes from Star Power Drummer, who is a huge D&B drumming style freak. Okay. So, check out Star Power Drummer. You can find him on Instagram. You can find him on the YouTubes. Fantastic drummer, young fella, playing all that. That's all real drums, all live. People thought you said D and D, Dungeons and Dragons, but it's drum and bass. Drum and bass. Drum and bass. D and B. Yeah. Yes. There we That's go. That's a hard style to play. <laughs> <laughs> all right. When, Kyle? When can we see Liberty play that song? In approximately seven minutes. Seven minutes? Mm -hmm. All right. Seven minutes. So they're all setting their, their, their watches now to decide when they're going to peace out. They're going to come back in seven minutes. <laughs> come back in seven minutes. <laughs> but don't go away now. Get because your popcorn. It's Get time. Get your popcorn. It's time for... We're going segment into segment today. <laughs> we're talking about new gear next. So, Jack, let's do new gear. <laughs> do you ever have a moment when you felt like you were just pushing something forward even though you shouldn't? Every I'm day. having that moment right now. Every day, Kyle. Liberty, now I know you're a fan of Promark drumsticks. I am. Uh, do you sweat when you play? I do. Do you? Do you use any sort of uh, gloves or tape or anything when you're playing? No. No? Okay. Do you ever uh, have sticks fly out of your hand? You know what I do use? Mm. I dip my sticks in Coca-Cola. No. Yes. Are oh. you kidding me? Or is that no, a, that's, that's true. No kidding. That's fascinating. So it just gives some extra like... Just a little extra stick. No kidding. Right, so I've tried pine tar, everything. Well, we're about to go into Have uncharted you ever tried territories. Sex wax. Okay, I'm gonna go right here to, to Jesus's camera. So, <laughs> yes, this product is called Sex Wax. Sex Wax. It's called Sex, sex Wax. Sex Wax. Show them it. It's from Mr. Zog, Mr. Zog's Sex Wax, and it is literally designed for drumsticks. It's playing off the idea of what they use for skis. Wait, right? Sex Wax. You rub it on your stick. And uh, it makes it easier to grab. Yes. <laughs> that might be the best endorsement ever. That's it right there. That's all I got to say. All right. So uh, I have, I have uh, pre-applied this to these sticks. You've got your regular sticks there. So this is just, it's just a wax. You want to check it out? 
Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's, like it's like a little salve. It's like it's like a tonic. That smells good. Does yeah. it smell good too? Yeah, it, it does. Doesn't smell bad. I'll, I'll say that. that. I'll so check that out. See how you, how that feels in your hands. Uh, oh yeah, it smells. It's there. Good. I mean, it's there. But you prefer Coca Cola. That's an interesting trick. I, I like that. Coca Cola. Yeah. No way. How I long have you been doing that for? Uh, for a while. Huh. Well, no. It's easy. You know, just it's right there. Yeah, you plus, it. you have a Coca Cola. There you go. And you could have the rest of the Coca Cola. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I, I quite like this as a, as a product choice because it's subtle. Yeah. You know, it's not like super, super. No, it's not super, super sticky. You know? I used to use oh, pine yeah. tar, tried pine tar. Oh, that's pretty heavy. Well, it used to push my nail. Right, for like oh, sure. Stick yeah. Twirls. Because I, it wouldn't move. Right. I couldn't your, budge. Your, your finger would move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So check out everybody out there. If you if you have trouble gripping your stick, uh, if you have trouble hanging on to your drumsticks, if you sweat, or if you're looking for a solution that's not gloves, I can't play in gloves. They drive me crazy. No. I find that the stick wraps are too much. They make stick diameter change too much. Yeah. Get yourself some Mr. Zog's sex wax for your drumsticks. Perfect there for it your is. sticks. Uh, they go sell ahead it down and get it. Romantic Depot. Down that's there. right. Yes. Romantic, the Depot. romantic yes. Depot. Make sure you get the right kind of drumstick <laughs> wax. Ah, that's about so five good. bucks available everywhere that you buy your drumsticks. And Love it. Probably not where you buy the other sex wax, I'm thinking. But. Yeah, right? But it could work for you. Oh, man, that was could work such for somebody, a dangerous yeah. choice. <laughs> but I think we did okay. It actually smells good, too. I would it use does. it. It yeah. does. Put it behind it. your ear. Put it a little Ooh, behind honey. your ear. That's right. Is yeah, that yeah, stick yeah. wax? Huh? Yeah. So, no, it's uh, sex What are you doing wax. before I saw you? <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, checking out the sex wax, of course. Uh, moving right along. Uh, it is time to... Uh, sorry, I'm doing two things at once here right now. There we go. It's time to give away membership, Dave. All right, who are we going to give it to? Uh, i got to find someone on YouTube. I hope that might be a bit of a challenge today. Yep. Uh, let's see. No, <laughs> thanks, Dave. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go with, uh, so what we're going to do is give away a one-year membership to Drumeo. Why are we going to do that, you ask? Because you, this isn't, of course, today they're like, I don't know about you guys today. But we have so many great things to offer inside our membership area. In fact, Liberty is shooting a bunch of stuff here this week. Yes. That we're going to have inside our membership area. We're also going to have some stuff that's out in the YouTube land. But uh, we have an incredible amount of stuff in our membership area that you should really check out. Over 5,000 original songs with full transcriptions, drumless parts. In fact, I think we even have a whole bunch of stuff you've played on. So you could be, you could be Liberty DeVito inside Drumio. Uh all right. As far as drums go, I don't think you want to be living to be. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. We're not offering any sort of like like actual life change swap I, I, out. You here. know, I, I can't see her, but I could see my wife's eyes rolling right now. <laughs> <laughs> be careful what you ask for. <laughs> yes. But you can check that all out at drumio.com. You can get a seven day trial for free. Yeah. Actually for free, Dave? For free. For Why free. Not? Yeah. Nice. There you go. I'm going to give away a one year membership to Bastiano. Bastiano. Is that all right? Sure. Okay. Is that his name? Yeah. Is that his name? <laughs> Bastiano Dan on Dan YouTube. Go Congratulations. ahead. Congratulations. Congratulations. You won a one-year membership to Drumio. Email me at krad at drumio.com. We'll get you set up with that. And you can be Excellent. a drummer for, um, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. 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 I, I can see what that says. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We've kept them waiting long enough. It's oh, time. So I can only take time. so much. Take, off. take uh, your jacket off. I can only take my, so much of My mic is on here now. <laughs> oh, tricky. Uh, so well. I'm going to stall while you move that microphone. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, thank you all so much for hanging out today. Thank you for those of you that were uh, kind. For those of you that were a little bit spicy, you know what? You're welcome to your opinions. That's totally fine. We love that. We yeah. really do. And it's only because I saw some great comments talking about, you know, it's only the original. I get that. Yeah. I totally you get can't, that. You can't beat it. And when you hear it, you're going to... Yeah, those feels will come back. Okay. Those feels. Uh, for those of you in the members area, remember we were talking about memberships a minute ago? Yeah. They're going to get to hang out with Liberty in a few minutes here. Perfect. So we're going to come back to you guys. Those of you on YouTube land, check out this amazing performance. We'll see you guys again next week. And uh, that's it from us. See you later. Yes.